Hudson's gonna be amazing. He's gonna hurt me. This one's gonna hurt me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steve and you're watching Wildcatters TV. Today we are going to be dragging some baits and I found this uh, underwater island where the channel kind of diverts. We're gonna fish it right where the river splits. There's a big island right here. We're gonna fish the main channel side. This is where the barges are gonna come up and down the river. The smaller portion of this on the other side of that island has some deep water on it, but it's just a real narrow. And the fish can still use that. Don't never not go fishing because of that. But I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start on the main river channel and uh, see where that happens. All right, we're gonna begin today with dragging while the wind uh, is a little moderate this morning we're going to be able to drag up current and if you guys have watched my channels for a while i like to catch big fish so we're going to use some big fish baits today i'm hoping they're hungry and we're going to use skipjack heads this size here and we're going to throw them out behind the boat drag them with these dragon rigs and we're going to hook this one right through the Bottom jaw and come out the top of the head. And we're going to sling him out the back of the boat. Now we're moving our boat at like 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 to 0 0.67. Uh, you don't want to, depending on the wind, you don't want to get much more than 0.4, 5, or 6. But the wind will sometimes get you up. A little bit more boat control is the hardest thing to do in this when dragging uh, or any kind of controlled type of application get out of there. And I've chosen a spot on this channel, like I said, the, the barge traffic or the, the main channel that the barges use is what I've chosen. But I've also chosen a portion of the channel that is closest to the bank. Catfish love um, edges. They love to run the edges. They love to hang around the edges. And it's the same thing. I mean, you could go out in the middle of the channel and catch fish too, but uh, the ones that are actually feeding, they're, they're just roaming around in the edges looking for their next meal. This one here, we're gonna put some planer boards. We're gonna use two planer boards to stretch our stuff out along this channel. I like to give myself about a hundred foot span, I guess, 75 to 100 foot span. Anything more than that, then you're just guessing. But I want to get particularly on this uh, drop or ledge that we're fishing. And I want to control my baits on that ledge. If I got them 300 yards out, you know, I might be covering a big spot, but I'm just kind of pulling through some stuff. I'm not really trying to target anything. When you have a large, that's just the way I like to fish. I like to keep my group a little tighter.
<clears throat> the other side lined out. Come out of the gate. Oh man. Feels like we might have a little weight on him. Oh. Let's hope he stays out there and Lee stays out of my lines. That would be ideal. We caught him on the planer board. And like I say, guys, I don't like my planer boards way out. I like to control where my planer boards go. And that's for this particular reason right here. I was fishing this edge of this, where this bank comes up on the, off the river channel. Now let's see if I can keep him on here without losing him. the fool down there right now. He's going to have a little size to him because he is swimming up river. That's a, that's a bad sign too. Now he's wanting to go into the boat real deep on the other side, which is smart for a big catfish. He's been caught before most likely. them rolls down there man and sometimes they can get themselves loose like that. I've had it happen many times. Alright he's going back down. He's going back down. Oh 
plug them there. Going back again. I get him up about 10, 20 feet and he goes straight back down. Mad. Not a monster, but we're gonna take him. That's a respectable fish right there. Alright guys, what a great fish for to start the day, but we're going to put him back and uh, look for another one. The day is just starting. Oh. Whew. He's going down to the depths. You know, catfish is fun, sliming is question dries on your skin it's kind of weird oh. but one must love it I guess to continue doing it <laughs> I got slimed <laughs> well, we got another one on. That didn't take long. Seems like another respectable fish. Oh, he just got off. He just got, I think he broke my line. I hate to see that, please. Oh no. You break off or just come off. Well, that was sad. He broke me off. Broke me off. Well, it's time for a new leader, I guess. You can see the slime 
That's another good fish there. Well, let me change my leader. It's just lessons learned, guys. You just... I don't know. That feels really rough right there, too. I don't know. Just dragging along the bottom. Maybe I hit something while ago. That just feels really rough right there. But... We'll do it again. Mercy. That's a decent fish, too. Decent fish. Mm. That might have been my only opportunity, fellas. But it has been pretty good. It has been pretty good. I'm going to quickly put this rig together. Was 50 pound mono, improved clinch knot on my uh, swivel. And uh, we're going to put a loop in here, oh, yeah, right here. Wrap this twice. Puller. Gonna put a bead on. Another bead. And then another loop. And that's just pretty much putting a little knot in there. We don't even tighten this knot. We'll loop it twice. We're gonna let the fish tighten the knot. We just don't want that. That bobber to go nowhere except right there where it's at. Now. And we're gonna tip it, this leader with a uh, nine aught. Must add demon hook. And I'm gonna do my, my snail knot. Only one I know, so that's the one I use. Another piece of eight. And we're in business with a brand new leader on my dragon rig. Okay. Now we sling it out, start over. Sling it out and start over. Some of you guys would lose a big fish like that and would feel really bad. I can remember back when I was a little bit more uh, mad at him. I can remember laying down in the bottom of a boat one time, just sick to my stomach because I lost one. Huge fish. Don't know how big it was, but it was a, it was a huge fish. But nowadays you lose fish. I've lost so many fish, it's not that big of a deal anymore. Let's 
what I'm dealing with. This is one of them techniques though that's gonna make you work. No doubt. It's easier some days than others though, especially when the wind ain't blowing. Took it pretty good. Oh. Feels like a, like it might be a heavy one. He's not really fighting, he's dragging them against I'm pulling them. Where am I at? I'm only 0.5. This must be a big fish. He's taking me across everything. Be a pretty good fish. This is gonna be a pretty good fish. Oh, I'm dragging a bunch of grass. I see now it might not be as big as I think. Yeah, I think he is. He's I ain't got that much grass. Probably one of them smarty pants. Oh. It's hard to gauge something like this when you got four pounds of stuff. The whole fish might even be embedded in grass, who knows? Fish may be in grass. It's hard to say. I want to say it's a big one, but then he could have just a bunch of grass on there. It could be a 20 pounder. Dragging him in, I guess. Oh, he's pretty good size. He just ain't putting up no fight. He's not really putting up a good fight. He's probably one of them fish that's kind of might be caught up around some line or something wrapped around him and he won't he's kind of controlled but I've had him get to the boat before where it comes unraveled and then he goes crazy he's just not fighting right he's not swimming right so I'd say he's wrapped maybe I don't know 
He just might have been caught so many times, he's just, well, here we go. Another one of these. Yeah, for a big old fish like this, he's just not fighting. What is going on with this fish? Ah, he's wrapped in it. He's wrapped pretty good. That's what I thought. Just get him unwrapped here and I bet he's gonna go crazy. But, well, this fight wasn't even no good because he got all wrapped up. I think he might be wrapped in my other line. That's what it is. He's got my other dragon line. That's what I thought he's. Wasn't no fun, cause he's wrapped up. But it is a daggone good fish. Come on in here. Come on in here. All right, get this net. Get, I want the net. Get in here. Come on. Get mean, buddy. Get mean. Get mean on this. net them when they don't when that head it's hard to net them when that head is all cocked and it's not going the right way but we got him yeah we got him let me see where i'm at here Yeah, I pulled the wrong ones up. He got uh, he got in my other dragon line back there. This is a 70 pound fish, high 60s maybe. And I'm gonna have to come off the back here. This is such a big fish and had such a no fight at all because he's so tangled. Whew. Yeah, he's so tangled up and it just wasn't no fun. Don't let me lie to you. It was a little bit of fun. I don't know what that fish is going to weigh. That's a big fish. Let's see if I can get him out of here. This is one of them situations where I want to get the fish back in the water quickly. So we're going to see how the line's all wrapped around his gills and, and all this. That's why he wasn't fighting. He was in his gills and everything. So for the safety of this fish, we're just going to cut him out. And 
and I'll deal with the mess a little later. But he was really hooked, and it looked good. That's gonna require some pliers. Yeah, it was wrapped around his dorsal fin up here top too. So yeah, he was totally in submission. I thought it when I back her seen back there, I thought it was a 30 pounder. But all right. Oh boy, this is gonna be a meat. He's gonna hurt me. This one's gonna hurt me. I'm gonna attempt this. Nice one. Well, we're gonna get him back in the water. He's uh, he's had some trauma. Let's get him back in there and look for another big boy. There we go. Get in there. Keep cruising down. Man, they get so big you can't handle them. But it's a lot of fun, guys. 